Hey, what's going on, friends? This is yours truly, Frankie Wilson, and you're listening to Inside Gospel. And I am very honored for, to have the guest on the phone with me right now that I have, the presiding bishop over the Christ Holy Sanctified Church of America Incorporated is getting ready to host their national conference for the year 2012. And check this out, friends. The theme is still moving forward, victorious and unstoppable. I love that. August 14th through the 11th. It's going to be starting 7 p.m. nightly, and we're going to be speaking a little bit about the conference speakers and what we have to look forward to. But right now, I have to put my hands together, show my love and appreciation for Bishop Craig Brown, the presiding bishop. God bless you, sir. God bless you, Mr. Wilson. It's a pleasure to be here. So happy to have you on. Go right ahead. I'm sorry. Pleasure. Yeah, pleasure to be here. Absolutely. So you're all the way in um, California right now, am I correct, Bishop? Yes, uh, Southern California. Cool, Southern California at this point. <laughs> I see you went on and made sure to let us know that you know we're burning up down here in Texas, right? <laughs> oh, I was there last week. I was there last week, and, I, and it was it was smoldering, but uh, yes, but sir. It's summertime, so that's what we can expect. Oh yes. Well, I know you're on your way back down here, as we were just saying, getting ready for the national conference, August 14th. Through the 18th, can you talk to our listeners a little bit about the Christ Holy Sanctified Churches of America and what we have to look forward to in this conference? Yes, the Christ Holy Sanctified Church is, a, is an old um, old tradition, and I mean by that it was founded in the early 1900s and, uh, by uh, Bishop Judge and Sarah King. Um, this is the 102nd uh, year of the organization. Wow. And... Um, most of the conference, in fact, uh, 100% of our national conferences have been held in the in the South there from uh, the very beginning of uh, Louisiana and now here in the state of, or there rather, in the state of Texas. And so uh, we are, you might say, rebuilding, reloading, uh, revamping for the 21st century. And uh, we are looking forward to some uh, wonderful times. Uh, we are a, a, a wonderful organization that is uh, big as many. But we're growing leaps and bounds every day. Amen. And I'm, I'm sent to be 102 years old. Obviously, it says a lot about the integrity, the passion, and the anointing that's on the ministry just itself. Oh, yes. We have some wonderful, wonderful uh, men and women of God currently. We've, we've had wonderful pioneers, wonderful teaching, many who have come up with uh, and worked our uh, peers and contemporaries with many founders of uh, other organizations. Uh, from across the country, from across the world. So we are in a very good company of, um, of men and women, uh, our founders, and uh, we do look forward and strive to have integrity to hold up uh, what we believe to be biblically sound. Uh, you know, we're not stuck in the mud as far as change and, and uh, where we are in this 21st century, but from our biblical standpoint, we, you know, we, we uphold that which many may mind Uh, organizations do as far as their understanding of the Word of God. Absolutely. And you know, I'm glad you said that, um, Bishop, because, you know, one thing that I do love and respect about the church is that, yes, you're not opposed to change, but at the same time, you do not compromise what you believe. And, you know, we find it even when on the website, and friends, you can go and check out the website right now, www.chsc. I'm sorry, chschurch.org. And on the news section, you actually have a statement, and it's um, right in line with one of the recent uh, announcements that was made by President Obama talking about uh, same sex marriages. And even right now, we look at what's going on in our nation with uh, the president of Chick fil A making a statement about it, and all of a sudden, the world wants to go against him and fight against him. But you're not afraid to make a stand for what you believe, as you said, as you understand the Bible, to interpret what is right and what is true. And we definitely appreciate churches and people that will stand for what's right, what they believe, and what, what the Bible says above all things. That's correct. We, we believe anything that we believe that can, can uh, affect or uh, offensively prevent you from having life eternal, uh, you know, with the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, having salvation, and, and anything that can affect that, we feel that we, we must take a stand on. Now, we want to say that we love everyone, regardless of right. You know, their situations, regardless of whatever, because we've all come from somewhere. Right. We've all, no one's perfect, we've all had 
an issue. This is a war we're fighting. And uh, so the, the same sex marriage issues is just the product of that. Uh, we love everyone, but we have to just draw the line. Uh, and whether it's same sex marriages or whether it's other vices, we still, you know, I mean, that, that uh, other vices will cause problems too. We feel to go against the word of God. But when the president or anyone, and we want to say that we know that the president, a wonderful man, he, he has to be the president for all people. He's not a preacher. He's not called to preach the gospel. Uh, we are called to preach the gospel, so we have to uh, do that which God has called us to do. That's uh, right. But, you know, he's the president of the United States, the most powerful leader in the world. And so uh, he has to do what he feels is for everyone, what he feels is fair. Uh, you know, and those are his personal opinions, and so we, you know, we can respect that, although we definitely don't agree with it because we know what the Word of God says. So we, we feel we, we uh, take a stand and let people know we're not on a witch hunt. We're not, right? You know, looking at people giving them a fish eye when they come into church. <laughs> uh, we will just minister to them, preach to them, and let them know that God loves you and, and uh, we love you. And um, our, our concern is, you know, where they're going to spend eternity. So uh, we don't want certain things to be missed you know, out of focus uh, when it comes to the biblical truths that we believe in. Absolutely. It's not about, you're not trying to villainize the people, but to address acts of unrighteousness, if you will. That's correct. Absolutely. And this is why the theme, this falls right in line with the theme of the conference, still moving forward, victorious and unstoppable. You're able to do that when you're able to wrap your minds around what the Word of God says and accept it and adopt it. And friends, real quick, I want to be sure to plug that again. They're having the National Conference. This is for the Christ Holy Sanctified Churches of America Incorporated. On the line with me i have the presiding bishop it's amazing honor bishop craig brown on the on the phone with me and uh we want you to be out there it's august 14th through the 18th um services starting 7 p.m nightly it's going to be at the ideal pentecostal church 1000 east redbird lane in dallas texas for more information go to chschurch.org and let's talk a little bit about some of these conference speakers that you have bishop that are coming pastor mall Carr, first lady tammy h perry pastor erica braxter anthony wilcox pastor anthony wilcox senior as well Talk to us a little bit about the speakers and, you know, their position in this convention itself, what we have to look forward to. Well, we, we have some wonderful speakers, and um, we are not uh, afraid or ashamed to say that uh, we, we have some speakers that I believe can, that, that can truly stand on their own. I'll just leave it like that. Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, we also, uh, you know, we also uh, do uh, in the future uh, look to have, you know, perhaps what people would consider uh, uh, you know, well-known or celebrated speakers we've had in our past many times, and I just, uh, if I could just take 30 seconds just to go right ahead, uh, explain something. We're not running from the fact that, again, we may not be the, the largest. Our organization has gone through some, um, some changes. Sometimes changes are uh, what happens at every organization, so sometimes it's part of life. Uh, you know, people uh, do what the Lord is telling them to do, and, and so we've been a product of that over in our history and in the past recent years. So the theme still moving forward uh, depicts the fact that while we may be where, you know, we feel God is leading us and we may not have, you know, those that used to be with us and that we're part of it, we are still in a place where uh, God is taking us and, and it is going to be a wonderful and it's growing and it's getting bigger and our speakers are reflective of that. Pastor Carr is a product of our organization, uh, his family uh, from Oklahoma. He will be speaking on Tuesday, uh, which has been designated as uh, our National Sunday School Day. And we're looking forward to him uh, ministering to us. On Wednesday, we have a, a very anointed preacher, as they all are, from uh, uh, who will be speaking on Women's Day, our National Women's Day. Uh, she's from uh, the Raleigh, Durham area of North Carolina. Uh, First Lady Tammy Perry, and if you want to hear somebody sing, and if you want to hear somebody just make you get up and run around the church, uh, and someone who will make you laugh and give you that word of God, you've got to come and hear this uh, dynamic young woman of God. All right. Actually, <laughs> on Wednesday um, evening, uh, on Thursday evening, we have, again, a product of our organization, Pastor Erica Braxter, uh, a young woman of God. I call her the... Uh, the little mighty woman of God because her mother, the late Bishop Jones, was, uh, uh, we called her the, the mighty woman of God. That was her mantra, you might say. Yes. So uh, she's a chip off, off of her, uh, from her mother, and she will be speaking on uh, what has been designated as uh, Youth Night, Youth Day. He's a powerful preacher, uh, wonderful pastor there in Lake Charles, Louisiana. 
And then on Friday, we have <laughs> the profound. And if you want to hear somebody uh, exegete the scripture and <laughs> just pull some things out that you've never heard from before, uh, if you want to come out and hear Dr. Anthony Wilcox, uh, again, he is no stranger to the, you know, the, the Pentecostal, the Christian the pastor's pastor's world from Houston, Texas. He'll be with us on Friday night. Last year he was with us and he, he just set us on our ear. And then on mm-hmm. Saturday I will be minist- I will be ministering on Saturday official night and uh, certainly hope that people come. We also have speakers throughout the day, if I may interject throughout yes, the day yes. there will be speakers and seminars uh, for throughout the week. Uh, but Friday in particular we we are adding we've added uh, one of our uh, speakers, uh, who's uh, Pastor Ricky Logan. He's also here from Southern California. He's the presiding elder here in Southern California. He'll be ministering at eleven AM uh, and at one AM excuse me, one PM, um, one of the, your local area evangelists and pastors, uh, Patrick Murray. Yes. Gospel, Holy Church, I believe they're off the I think it's off the twenty. Right there, as, yeah. you, uh, to, as you're going into Dallas, 20 East. Right, uh, Full Gospel right Holy there. Temple, yes, sir. Yeah, around around 20 and 35, I believe, is somewhere in that area. But he'll be ministering ministering to us on Friday at 1 p.m. So we have an array of speakers. All of our general services are free. There is a registration for your conference registration of, of uh, $40, but the, the conference itself is free. So we encourage everyone to come out and just be enlightened and, and energized and uh, encouraged in the Word of God. Absolutely. I mean, this is definitely something that people do not want to miss and they want to be a part of. I mean, and I, I can claim it right now because I know this, that um, there's no way a person can attend any of these um, nights or days even and not leave change. It's just a beautiful thing. That's why you're still moving forward, victorious and unstoppable. Again, got to say it, friends. We want you to be a part. The Christ Holy Sanctified Churches of America, they're going to be hosting their 2012 National Conference going on August 14th through the 18th, 7 p.m. nightly at the Ideal Pentecostal Church, 1000 East Redbird. Lane in Dallas. For more information, you can go to www.chschurch.org. And you know, real quick, before we let you go, Bishop, I was looking through the list of events as well, and I noticed that you have a session on global missions. And you know, we have a very, very large international um, listening um, listening audience from, I mean, listeners in Canada to the United Kingdom, over in Africa, specifically South Africa, Uganda, listeners in Jamaica, the Netherlands, and all over. Could you talk to us just a little bit about um, the churches? efforts towards international and global ministries? Yes, uh, uh, Frankie, I believe wholeheartedly, I, I was in a luncheon with uh, uh, Bishop Charles Blake uh, about a year ago, a wonderful man of God and a oh, yes. friend of mine. He was talking to his pastors, and one of the things he said is that uh, he has a heart for uh, those in, in Africa. That's where the Lord has placed on his heart to help, and we were there to support that effort. And one of the things that he said, he said that I, I know that you know, many of our churches here in the United States are, you know, going through difficult times and struggling. And, you know, we all have our issues here, especially the last three or four years economically. But he said, when you help others who are less fortunate, you really touch the heart of God. And I so see to his effort there. And, and <laughs> before I could leave the place, the Lord had already blessed me. Mm. And our <laughs> church has had a wonderful uh, presence uh, in the last uh, 40, uh, 50 years with the late Bishop U.S. King and Mother King, his wife, who uh, Travolta King, such a Travolta King, we, we had uh, uh, probably uh, over uh, two or three hundred churches there in Africa. And uh, wow. unfortunately, after their passing, uh, that particular area did not receive the attention that it, it, you know, and the energy that they put into it, and those efforts died. And so our presence in global missions has, has decreased significantly. However, since uh, my uh, taking over, and actually a couple of years before I took over, uh, was elected. We started rebuilding that effort, and the Lord has blessed. We have many new uh, churches who've come on from uh, Haiti, from um, uh, Africa, and uh, uh, we're looking at parts, parts of South Africa as well. We'll have one of our pastors, Pastor Moses Doe, who will be dialing in to speak to us for a few moments to greet the conference. So, uh, Bishop Richard Probasco, who just happens to be my cousin, but he's, he's a very fine man of God. He has churches all over the world, uh, Russia, China, uh, India, the Philippines. Uh, he has churches everywhere. He's going to be speaking and encouraging, and he's going to be giving us an update on the mission efforts that we that he presented to us back in January in our leadership conference. And so we have 
uh, many, many, but about four or five who said, this, we're ready to do this and get back into this and to get back in the field. So that's what we'll be doing. So we, we're reaching out to those across the seas and uh, where God is blessing. And I also wanted to say that on Sunday uh, at 5 p.m., I believe there's a, a grand gala concert um, which, which will feature not only our national choir, but uh, many of the groups and choirs throughout the uh, Dallas, Fort Worth, Arlington area. Last year, if those who missed it, or those I'll say it this way, those who attended, you couldn't have had a better evening of, of fine uh, music there. So mm. we want to plug that in as well, that on, on Sunday evening at 5 p.m., we'll be having a grand concert for many of the well-known gospel artists, many recording artists in our organization, uh, many from uh, that world renowned in your area. Um, I believe Pastor uh, Daryl Blair was with us last year. I'm not sure if he'll be with us this year, but uh, many of those in that area, those recording artists in our organization will also be there. So you want to mark your calendars for that Sunday at 5 p.m. as well. Wonderful. This is definitely going to be a week nobody wants to miss. And before we go past, I, uh, Bishop, I just have to thank you so much again for being on the line with us here on the show on Inside Gospel. We definitely support um, everything that the church is doing, and we will continue to uh, do what we can to get the word out for the Christ Holy Sanctified Church of America. Is there anything else that you'd like to leave our listeners with before we let you go? I certainly want to thank you, uh, Mr. Wilson. You've certainly been gracious to uh, have me on. God bless you. To, uh, to do this, and this has been wonderful. And I certainly can sense in your, uh, your voice, your passion for the work of God. And so we certainly pray that God will continue to bless you and, and anoint you for the task that you have in spreading the word of God and keeping uh, uh, you know, us encouraged throughout the country and wherever your radio stations, your listeners are, and you're syndicated and all throughout, you know, throughout the world in the United States. So thank you so much, and we certainly appreciate it. We want to just invite everyone uh, from me, the presiding bishop, come on out and join us. You uh, will not be disappointed, and we know that you, uh, God, will meet your need, and we certainly look forward to um, a wonderful time. I want to say this is the first time that we've had it in Dallas. Wow. Um, <laughs> uh, Texas. All right. We've normally had it in other parts of Texas, and so this is the first time, and so our people are kind of getting used to <laughs> uh, a little bit of change. You know, some of them uh, are, are say, oh, we're moving it. We're going somewhere else. But sometimes that's the way uh, the work of God is. So, Absolutely. Uh, we, we want to encourage everyone to come. Because uh, we have people coming from all across the country. So, so certainly all of our churches there in Fort Worth and Dallas and all surrounding areas, this photo and all, all the suburbs there in Dallas. Uh, we'll be coming there. Uh, when I say we, I mean many of us from across the country yes. uh, will be there. So certainly all those in that area can uh, drive a few miles and let's uh, let Dallas know that we're in town. All right. We want you guys to all please spread the word once again. The 2012 National Conference, August 14th through the 18th, 7 p.m. nightly. We want you to be there at the Ideal Pentecostal Church in Dallas. Be sure to visit them online for more information. www.chschurch.org and online. The presiding bishop, the prelate bishop Craig Brown, thank you so much again for being a part. God bless you. God bless you, uh, Frankie Wilson, and we certainly look forward to meeting you and seeing you when we come here in a few Ab days. Absolutely.